Hey Ken, it's Barbie. I get it, you're sad right now. But just look on the bright side. Maybe one day you can have, and you and the other Kens, you can have the same rights and power as women and be treated as equals. Destroy the patriarchy! Hurrah to the matriarchy! And that is Barbie in a nutshell. Everybody, shut up! And action! Alright guys, today let's talk about Greta Gerwig's Barbie movie, the Barbie movie that has all the hype with everyone going in pink to Cineplex and all the other theaters around the world dressing in pink to go watch Barbie with the entire vibe dancing to I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world I don't know the rest of the lyrics, but like everyone's dancing to that song, going to theaters, vibing and going Hi Barbie! Hi Barbie! And it's an entire vibe, it's an entire mood and I might have been exaggerating a little saying that is what Barbie is essentially but I'm not wrong. That is essentially what Barbie basically is. Just a little exaggerated. It's not that uh, condescending. I'm not here to judge on anyone's political views or anything like that. I don't care. I haven't put enough thought into my opinion on that. So I'm not going to judge it like that. I don't care if anyone makes views that agree with mine or against mine when they make a movie. But the issue with this movie is that it, it, it just literally feels like someone's talking a political... I'm in a political debate and someone's just... Is saying their opinion to me not that I'm in a theater watching a movie that is the biggest issue if I when I talk about movies I like to talk about the good and then the bad and let's start with the good in this movie every track is a goddamn banger I've added almost all of them to my playlist I'm listening to them on repeat they're all bangers they're all cinematically gorgeous every song in this movie is a goddamn banger and some cinematics in this movie are beautiful and oh yeah and the acting performances are great especially for Ryan Gosling and um, Margaret Robbie their acting performances were amazing. It feels cringy. It feels uh, really childish in a way, but like that is how the characters are, and they really bring out the characters to the max. And that is absolutely amazing for the two characters to bring out the uh, to the two actors to bring the characters out like that. They did an extremely well job with their acting performances, and the acting was amazing in this movie. And it really makes you feel like their cartoon characters are just doll figurines now that is essentially all the good things to say you can see i went by that quickly because i was dozing off in this movie because it did not feel like a movie i honestly thought this movie was going to be like some looney tunes back in action but barbie fied but no uh, and honestly and that's a good thing but also in this case a bad thing the movie is basically about barbie going to the real world to try and heal herself because she's feeling depressed about something for some reason and it's believed to be because the person playing with stereotypical barbie in the real world is feeling depressed herself yeah not a bad plotline. That is essentially the plot and a big key factor in this plotline is matriarchy being the patriarchy in a big sense. And honestly, that, that entire aspect isn't a bad thing for a movie. I, when the movie was starting out and that entire uh, plotline and theme behind the movie was kind of revealing itself, I was like, okay, this might actually be interesting. That's It's an interesting plotline, but the way it is expressed and done it feels condescending, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It, 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 the real reason I'm saying it's a bad thing in this movie is because, quite literally, there, it doesn't feel like a movie in its entirety. It literally feels like you're in a political debate. You're listening to someone talk, tiring in your seat, just leaning back and forth, falling asleep because you don't care about politics. But then, at the end of the day, when you're going into a movie, especially a Barbie movie, this movie was not meant for kids in the slightest bit. Like, half the terms in this movie, I didn't understand myself. But, like... This movie just feels like they're trying to state their ideology and how things need to be and how things need to change. Barbie, I get it. She's a character that has always exemplified women can do anything. I am a Barbie girl. I can be a doctor. I can be a surfer. I can be a dancer. I can be this. I can be that. Great. Great. The great character, great doll. It didn't cure women empowerment or whatever the feministic issues were in society just by a doll. But it helped in some way, shape, or form. Even though it had its stereotypicalness. People look at the downside of things even though the downside is prevalent. Whatever. But like... The big thing in this movie is that it's just talking about all politics. There's no fictitious elements. It's a fiction movie, but there's no fictitious elements that people want to go in and enjoy. Like, if you want to exemplify these statements, keep them in the subtext. That's what makes beauty movies beautiful, fictitious movies beautiful, fantasy movies beautiful. You keep all these real world issues and things in the subtext, subtleties. And in that way, when you direct these thoughts, they're, you're, you're developing them while having audiences connect with the main character, understanding their issues, their flaws, their struggles, everything in that sense. You have audiences connecting with the characters, falling in love with the characters, feeling their emotions. Here, you just have audiences tired being like, okay, oh wow, it's Ken. Oh my god, wow, it's Barbie. Oh my god, wow, it's this character, that character. Like, you connect with zero characters. 
there is no interest. Like the plot line is, oh my god, we go to the real world, back world. You travel there in two seconds, you come back in two seconds. But oh wait, when the real world people come here, when they come with Barbie, it takes two seconds. When they come on their own, it takes the entire movie length. Oh my god. Now, why even have him in the movie if he's just going to appear at the beginning and appear at the end? Serve no real purpose. Like, it, it, it. normally these things you can ignore in a movie because the movie has you so captivated by it, you don't even realize that they're missing. They're there. though. The entire movie, you're just questioning what the hell is this doing? What the hell is that doing? Why did he take so long to appear? Like, you have the ability to make the character uh, coming in so late after appearing so early. You you can make that work, but in this movie, it just doesn't work. Nothing works really well. It is just really, really tiring. The, honestly, the only thing I learned from this movie, apparently it's not a spoiler because everyone knows this but me, but apparently Kevin and Barbie aren't a couple. I honestly always thought they were. Guess they're not. Wow, that was a huge shocker for me. That was honestly the biggest plot twist in the entire movie. Something everyone knew and didn't uh, consider a plot twist, but for me it was. Wow, oh my god, I learned something new. Wow, 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 wow. Honestly, this movie was just straight dog water. I mean, I did not like this in the slightest bit. I was bored throughout the movie. The only fun thing about this was the music, the cinematics, the acting performances, and the entire vibe of dressing up in pink and going with your friends. That is honestly really fun to do. Uh, but besides that, it, just, it, it was just a really tiring and exhausting movie. Not immersive, not rewatchable, just just tiring. There's nothing to like about it. I didn't like about it. So, um, somehow it's past. It's one of Warner Bros. biggest movies ever. Huge surprise there. Did it deserve it? No. Uh, like, if you want to make a fictitious movie, keep the real life things in subtext. If you want to bring it out more, do it. But, like, keep the fictitious elements there. Like, keep some element of entertainment. Don't just toss a bunch of big words and try to exemplify a political statement and then use a kid's doll as a subject for parents thinking it's a kid's movie. Just realize, oh, it's a political statement. Everyone's going to be bored by it. Kids are just going to question it. They're like, oh my god, it's Barbie, a Barbie. What is she saying? Or even if they understand what she's saying, and maybe I'm just an idiot, but like, it's more like, what am I watching? I don't want to listen to people talk about politics. I want to see these guys go on an adventure of self-reflection or something or the other. And in this movie, self-reflection probably would have been some better theme for the movie. But like, I don't know, man. It, it was just really tiring. It was exhausting. And it, it, it's just a political statement, for Christ's sake. I mean, please just make something entertaining and stop talking about politics. I don't know, man. This movie is like a... I'll be generous and say a 40%. I'll give it a 40%. It is not that great. I was exhausted. Not ever going to rewatch it. Not ever going to talk about it again. End of story. Goodbye.